Hi there everyone, this is Jennifer Biederman from Jennifer Biederman Jewelry. Um, I'm doing a, a tutorial today on beaded beads. I made another tutorial on, a, it's called the Birthstone Beaded Bead and it was uh, really, really popular so I thought I would make another type of beaded bead. Now, uh, it's the same concept, I just embellished them, okay? So here, I'm gonna show you how to do two types. Uh, so this is a closed beaded bead using rounds and Swarovski crystals and beads. This one also, I use some pearls in the back, Swarovski crystals. Um, and this one here, it's um, like I made before, it's an open beaded bead. So you can slide this on a chain, you can slide this on a bracelet. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with this uh, component as well as these, because you can put uh, wire through to make um, uh, components out of them. You can use it as a drop on a necklace as a focal piece. Uh, you can make a pendant. Um, this one is a little pendant that I made. Um, this is just a little chaton that I encased and I put a little bail here. Uh, you can make earrings as well, which I am going to make earrings, but I'm going to make them with post earrings. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Otherwise, it'll be too long uh, with the um, ear wire up here. So I'll show you how to do that in another video. We won't be doing this in this video. Just the beaded bead. You can also use these beaded beads as a clasp component. Uh, I made this bracelet here and I just used the button. But you know what? I made these beaded beads after I made this and I would have totally used this as a clasp component. Because you know these Swarovski uh, um, clasps that they sell, like these round, beautiful clasps, but they're like $20 for one clasp. You can really make a really interesting, beautiful clasp for yourself. Okay, so the materials you'll need for this is this. There's not a lot of materials and this goes really quick. So you have some pearls. I'm using glass pearls here. These are three millimeter and I only need 10. Um, I'm also gonna use some Swarovski four millimeter crystals. You can definitely use a three millimeter, which I did in this one. These are three millimeter bicones. And just to show you the difference, it all depends on the look. See, you can really see points uh, with a four millimeter and you can't really see it with a three millimeter. All depends on the look you want, okay? So I'm using the four millimeter. Uh, I'm gonna be using one size 11, which is just a gray color. And I'm using some 15s, which is a galvanized silver, okay? You're also gonna need a size 10 beading needle. You, we are going through these beads several times, so I would suggest using a six pound fire line or a four pound or even beading thread. Uh, don't use an eight pound, I tried, and uh, as I was going through the beads, I ended up uh, breaking my 11s and my 15s because you go through so many times that I busted my beads because there's just too, many, too much thread going into the beads. Um, what else do you need? That's it really. Um, scissors to cut your thread. You don't need a lot of uh, uh, fire line on your needle. I just, I didn't measure. I just cut myself a big long piece because I'll just be making a lot of beaded beads and I, if I need to add thread, I'll add thread as I go. But in this little project, you won't be adding thread. And that's it. So get your materials together and we're going to get started. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> so what I started by doing is I picked up four four millimeter pearls. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back down our tail. And we are going to just sew through all four pearls just to close it into a circle. Just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie myself a little knot. And then 
I will sew away from my knot by just going up a couple of pearls. I'll cut, cut this uh, thread, this tail thread, later. So I'm right here. Okay, so now you have this. Now, the next step, we, so this is our first unit, so this is right angle weave. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up three pearls coming out of this pearl. We're going to sew into this pearl here, and what that's going to do is it's just going to uh, create a second unit, unit, just like this. And then what we need to do is get ourselves up to this pearl. So I'm going to sew up this one and this one. So now we have two units and we're just going to create one last unit. So pick up three. Ooh, these pearls are hard to pick up. Okay, so pick up three, do that again, that your thread's coming out here. You're just gonna sew back through to create a circle. And now you have three units. And we're gonna sew up to that top pearl. So right here. And now we have this. So now we want to close this up. So what we want to do is we're going to be sharing, oops, this pearl with this pearl. So what we want to do is just close up the unit for the piece like this. So you have, let me just focus here. Maybe I'm in too much, hold on. So you have this. So. I just got a new camera today and I really need this thing to focus. Okay, so now that this is sharing these two, I'm only gonna pick up one and I'm gonna sew through this unit like this and that's gonna create, or now I'm gonna have three pearls because there's four pearls per unit. Now I just need to finish off the uh, unit by picking up the last pearl. And we're gonna sew through this one like this, and that's going to create the last unit for this. And my thread is all caught. Now, I'm gonna have to untangle this, or is it my, yeah, it's my tail getting caught. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, so here's our last unit. Now what we wanna do is you want to reinforce this. So go around and reinforce this, and you're gonna come out of this pearl. I'm just gonna untangle myself and cut my uh, tail thread, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming out of this pearl. And it's really like a little box, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up three 15s, a Swarovski, and three 15s. Just like that. And you are coming out, where are we here? We're coming out of this pearl and we're just going to sew back through that pearl to create a loop, just like that. And you're going to pull through. So now you have this thing here sticking up. So now you have that. Now, what we're gonna do is just, we're, 
what we're going to do is just turn our piece, okay, because we're going to be doing this all the way around. But now what I want to do is I want to fill up these gaps here, and that's where my size 11 comes in. And I'm just going to sew through the next, picking up an 11 and sewing through the, whoops, the next little pearl there, pull. And then I'm going to do this again. So I'm picking up three 15s, a crystal, and three 15s. I'm coming out of this pearl and I'm sewing through the next pearl, just like that. So now you have two little things happening here. And you're just gonna do that all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up an 11, go through the next pearl, just to fill up that gap, oops to fill up that gap there and you know what I'm gonna bring my hold on a second give me wait a second where's my thing now uh, we're doing that again we're picking up three 15s a bicone and three 15s Coming out of this pearl, going in the opposite way, so making a circle. And picking up an 11, filling up that little gap there. And one last time, three 15s. A Swarovski and three fifteens. Go into coming out of this pearl, going in just to create a loop, and I need to add my last eleven in that little section there. So pick up an eleven. and just go through the next pearl. See, it's already getting tight because I went around a few times. So now this is what we have. Now what you want to do is we're going to see what's happening here. Now they're sticking up here. What we're going to do is we're going to attach them so they sit like this. So here are your four pearls and we're going to attach them the same way. So now what we want to do, I'm coming out of this pearl. I'm just going to move my way this way. Pull. And I'm just going to get myself into the other direction on the other side. And go through this pearl right there. Now we're just gonna attach what we've done on this side so that they, this lays flat, flat. So all, we're not picking up bicones, we're just picking up three 15s. And what you're gonna do, you're coming out of this pearl, you're gonna go up into the bicone. And you're going to pull. And what that's gonna do, it's just going to lay, help that lay flat. Now we need to pick up another three 15s. I'm coming out of this bicone and I'm going to go through this pearl right here. And pull. So now you have this. Now what you need to do is we're, we need to pick up the 11s <clears throat> to fill up the gaps on this side. So you're going to pick up an 11, go through the next pearl, pull, and we need to do with this one as well. So you're gonna do that all the way around by just picking up three 15s, 
coming out of this pearl, going this way, up this crystal pull, pick up three fifteens, go through the this pearl here, because there's your four. Pull. So you have this, and then pick up an 11 and go through the next pearl. Okay, so you all you have to do is do that two more times, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So now you have this. And you can leave it like this if you wish, uh, because this is like this one. Now, this hole is a little bit larger than this one here, and I'm wondering why, but I looked at the piece. I put uh, delicas here in the middle, which made the hole a little bit larger. But you just put a little chain in there and it's going to work just fine if you just want to put them on like this, which I think are great. Okay, so if you want to close it up, you're, I just, where was I? I added this last 11 here. Let me move in. And now we need to work on these four just like we did these four. So it's exactly the same thing. Now I'm coming out of this pearl right here this pearl right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pick up three 15s. And by doing this, you close up your bead. A Swarovski and three 15s. So you have this and what you're going to do is just go through the pearl just like we did on the other side. Now just let me turn it. So now it's getting tight. You don't want to go through that 11, just the pearl. Wow, this is getting very tight. So you want to do that. Pull. Now, if you're having a hard time getting your needle through, which I am, I always have a pair of pliers on hand, always. And I'm just gonna take them and just help my needle go through. So you have this, just like we did on the other side. We need to help that sit down. So you, all you need to do is we need to get ourselves over to this pearl here. So we're just gonna go through, actually you can go through the 11, but, and I need my pliers to pull my needle through. And going through This pearl just like that. Now pull. And did I go through that 11? No, I didn't. Okay, so now I'm over here. I need to attach this like we did along the side. So we're just going to pick up three 15s and we are going through this Swarovski right there, just like that. Pull, and now that's gonna help it sit down. Okay, now I know it looks busy right now, but just remember, these are your four pearls. We just came out of here. Now we need to add our three 15s and go into this one. So we're gonna pick up three 15s. And we are going through this pearl 
right there. So you can see the pearls there. You're going through there. Now it's getting difficult. Take my pliers, help my needle along, and pull. So now we have this. We closed up that side. So now what we need to do is just do it on the other side. And how we maneuver our way over there. I'm just going to see which bead I'm coming out of that pearl. And I'm just going to maneuver my way to the other side, following my thread path. So now what you want to do is just look to see how this bicone is sitting. Okay, you know what? Sorry about that. My video cut off. I may have paused it by mistake and I was continuing this side uh, to end it up. But what I wanted to show you here, let me just move in here. Now, these are the, wait a second here. Now, let me just see what's happening. Okay, so these are the sides we did all the way around, and these are the top parts that we did, right? Where we closed up the hole. Now, what I want to mention was, this one's sitting like this. When you go over to the other side, you kind of want it, you actually do want it to sit in the same direction. So, pearl, pearl, see? sitting here so if I went out of this pearl it'd be sitting like this so just pay attention to that now now that I've uh, put that on we're gonna start tying off our thread so you're just gonna go up some beads and you're gonna tie some knots because you definitely don't want this to fall apart so I just went through those beads I'm just gonna go under the thread bridge here and being very careful I'm just going to tie a half hitch knot and I don't want it going over my bead, just I want it going right on the thread and then I'm going to go through some beads, so through the bicone. So I tied a knot there and then I'm going to come down here and, but I did this off camera a little bit so I already tied some knots. So you want to tie a few knots and then once you're done you just go ahead and cut your thread. So let me grab my scissors. And here's your beaded bead, your closed beaded bead. I'm going to be making a lot of open beaded beads so because I like to slide them on necklaces. I've gotten a lot of compliments when I have them because it's so sparkly. Um, so here are your little beaded beads. I'm going to do other tutorials uh, on how to use these closed beaded beads. I already did, like I said, the open bead. You can slide those on um, necklaces. Uh, we're going to be making earrings. We're going to be make. I'm going to be using these as drops in necklaces. I'm going to be using these as clasp components and um, just make a lot and make a lot in different colors and they're so fun to make and so fast. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you like the, the video, just give me a thumbs up. And if you think someone else might like it, go ahead and share it. I do have a closed beading uh, group on Facebook. It's called Beading Tips and Tutorials because a lot of people share their tutorials that they make. Sometimes they're for free, sometimes they're for sale, but I do allow that. And I hope to see you there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.